Talking about results, we have Anand Purandre, Vice President and CFO at Bajaj Electricals, on the phone line with us from Pune, I understand. So thank you very much for joining us. We've had a chance to review the numbers. And, you know, the first question essentially is around margins in the consumer space. Uh, how are they so low? Why are they so low? Uh, okay, so there is a direct question on consumer durable. Before that, I would say that overall performance of the company is really fantastic as compared to last year's second quarter. Uh, coming to your question on the consumer durable, yes, there is a degrowth in the top line and uh, there is a pressure on margin. However, uh, this is what uh, we were expecting because we are rolling out new distribution model and which is basically going to reduce the inventory in the system, which is a dealer and distribution place, so that our primary sales is going to go down. And uh, obviously, being a top line lower, it has an impact on the beat margin. But I think this is not a matter of worry because we are going to come back from uh, 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 from this drop of margin to the better margin because this is with the, with the intention of a long-term perspective, we have taken this project. Okay, so you're talking essentially about a new distribution mo model that is falling into place. Now, will the impact of that be visible in the third quarter or not? And can you give me a sense of what kind of volume projection you have uh, for the rest of the year when it comes to the consumer durable space? Uh, see, this is the uh, solution which we are rolling out, which will take a little more time to roll out Pan India. So we are going phase by phase. So obviously there will be some effect in the third quarter also. The improvement will be visible in the next financial year. And if you're talking about the top line, we are estimating at least 5% growth in consumer durable in spite of this drop because we are very uh, confident that the second half of the year where our season product like uh, season based product like water heater, fans and coolers, we sell in the third and fourth quarter. Okay. Um, you know, I mean, I'm a little baffled by that. I'm just wondering how... Uh that's going to play out. Is there any risk to the volumes picking up in the second half of the year? Uh, there is, uh, we don't see, see overall the market is not really uh, growing very fast as it was in the last decade. Uh, but uh, we, because of this RREP, that is what range is expansion program, what we are doing, and that is impacting our primary sales. That is what I would say. Okay. You know, I'm sticking to that theme because we've been tracking the fact that the rural demand is a bit patchy and uh, you know uh, when you go beyond the big cities as well you notice a little bit of weakness but let's focus on the lighting business where the growth is 18 percent you know what's the reason for this uh, strong growth and give me a sense of the kind of margins you enjoy in the lighting business yeah uh, see lighting uh, as, as you see this is growing very fast the main reason for lighting segment going fast is uh, led the new product, which is we are having a lot of LED-based product for our domestic lighting as well as for the commercial and industrial lighting, and which is driving the growth of lighting segment. The lighting margins uh, last year, uh, second quarter, it was 2.8%, has now uh, grown to 6.1%. Okay. So and then uh, we are expecting this growth will be continue. Okay, we lost your audio there for a moment, but if you could just repeat uh, just the margin number on the lighting business? Uh, it was 2.8% last year. It's grown to 6.1%. Okay. Because the fear essentially is that this business is pretty competitive and uh, therefore will you be able to preserve margins or not is the key question. Any thoughts on that? Uh, I agree that uh, the business is very competitive, but it's mainly a very distribution business as well as for industrial and commercial lighting, it is more of technical selling business. And we are well placed in that, in the product designing and uh, uh, customizing the product for the industrial and commercial. So I think uh, we'll be able, able to achieve this growth in spite of there is a competition. One final thought from you, sir, on the project business and how it performed in the second quarter? Uh, project business, as uh, uh, as we we were giving the guidance in the previous quarter, that we already turn around in this business, and it is doing good. Uh, the margins uh, last year, obviously, we had a loss in this uh, particular segment. It was uh, negative 8.3 percent, and we are now positive 4.1 percent. So, whatever legacy projects and whatever issues we had, they are now become a history. 
Well, we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for your time today. Good talking to you and all the best for the rest of the year. Anand Purandre, CFO at Bajaj Electricals on the phone line from Pune. It's a wrap on the show. But given the way the markets are behaving, quite tentative.